What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a drink called the Winds of Winter. It is another Game of Thrones inspired cocktail. And some of you are gonna love me for this drink and some of you are gonna hate me for this drink because it has this. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a pale blue drink. Okay, full disclosure. Originally this drink was gonna be called the Night King. The reason why I changed the name is because everybody's making drinks called the Night King. And the Night King though was the inspiration for this drink. But I also wanted to have something that was sort of tropical in flavor and sort of tiki style because there's something, if there is something that I like more than anything else in the cocktail world, it is something that plays against expectation. You look at something and it is wholly different than how it tastes. So that's what I tried to do here. What I did was I made this clarified, what I'm calling clarified tropical mix. Yeah, I was calling it clarified island mix for a bit. Um, and I took the inspiration from a bar called White Lion, which was one of the, which is a now defunct bar who was presided over by the, the beverage director who's named himself Mr. Lion. Uh, and he also had a bar called Dandelion, which was cons is greatly considered, or I don't know, whoever the powers are be that decided it was the number one top bar, maybe like 50 best bars or something, like named it number one bar in the world. Uh, they basically have this thing called a curdled, uh, a curdled uh, pina colada. And so I kind of used their same technique. I was inspired by that technique to make this tropical mix. So what I basically did was I house made some coconut cream, don't worry, everything is written below so you've got the whole recipe. Uh, uh, but basically it was just a two to one simple syrup, right? So rich, simple, right? Uh, equal parts rich, simple syrup with um, a just unsweetened coconut milk put together, right? So that, and then I made a Don's mix, but I made my own version of Don's mix, which is a ruby red grapefruit, two parts ruby red grapefruit to one part cinnamon syrup. And I house made that simple cinnamon syrup too, all right? So equal parts of that, right? So like eight, eight and a half ounces, of the coconut cream, eight and a half ounces of the, uh, sorry, sorry, eight and a half ounces of pineapple juice, just fresh pineapple juice, and then 11 ounces of the Don's Mix number two that I made. I call it number two because Don's Mix is usually white grapefruit juice. I like to use ruby red. And so we made this. And then what I did was I let the, so when you let citrus sit inside coconut milk, it will separate. It'll curdle the milk and it will separate. And then what you do is you double strain that through a, first you double strain it, you let it sit for two hours, let it separate, then you strain it through a uh, double strainer and then you strain it through a coffee filter and it basically clarifies it completely. So it has this nice clear liquid that tastes like an island. That being said, this drink is only three steps. I tried not to use the blue curacao because it does have some artificial flavor, but I looked for everything from blue spirulina to butterfly pea to all these different things to try and get this blue flavor, to get, try and get this blue color. And there's nothing that I could find in the natural world that gives you this ethereal blue. Uh, Giffard makes a great product, right? So it's like an orange flavored liqueur with uh, added blue coloring to it. Is this certified color added? I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's natural color. Even the natural blue colors, like the natural dyes that I looked into and, um, and uh, did just all kind of turned out to be this sort of aquamarine, kind of greenish, uh, kind of uh, algae looking. Cause probably cause it's made from algae. All right, there we go. That's, that's what I got to say. Uh, let's get into making this, it's very easy. My, Marius is telling me that I'm not smiling, but I've got so much stuff to say today that maybe I'm not smiling. I'm sorry, I, look at this. Yeah, hi guys, yeah, I'm very happy today. I'm making this drink for you guys this Game of Thrones inspired cocktail that I've been very excited about. And I worked very hard on this drink. It took me a few weeks of really buckling down. I gotta stop talking because this ice is melting and I want that nice pebble ice. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces of our clarified island mix. Uh, I put the entire method in the bottom, in the show notes. Uh, so go look there. So it'll have every, it'll explain everything. And then we're gonna do one and a half ounces of we're using Florida Cogna four year, right? Rum, just, I like it, nice, clean, it's very good, very good rum. And then we're just gonna do like quarter of an ounce, maybe a little skosh over a quarter of our uh, blue curacao. And then we're gonna drop things all over the place and make a big noise. We're gonna put a little in there. We're gonna do our little whip shake like we do.
And you can really shake it until you barely hear the ice. You're just like, we're getting the dilution going. We're not fully diluting right now. We're getting the dilution going and we're getting the, um, and we're getting it chilled down. But really, you don't want to do it too much because the crushed ice will be doing that for us when we put it in the drink. So we got this nice blue drink that is going to taste of the islands because although the Night King is here, we are dreaming of, we are dreaming, uh, we're dreaming of spring, right? And we're kind of going into spring right now as it is. Or we're in spring. Has spring sprung yet? Is it actually sprung? I don't know. Marius is going, I don't know. I don't, I don't care about these things. And we're just going to take some Angostura bitters and we're just going to dash them on top there. And then add our little, obviously we took our inspiration from the Queens Park Swizzle. And there you have it. Now, a lot of people were asking me like, are you gonna use Johnny Walker, White Walker? I thought about putting it in this cocktail. It didn't go flavor-wise as much as I wanted it to because that would be kind of awesome. So I didn't actually end up putting it in here, but maybe I'll use it for a new one. I still have to do a cocktail on the imp. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, just like a full flavored tiki drink that I tinted blue using clear ingredients and then just putting that blue in there. And so it's like fully blue, but you get like all the pineapple, tiny Scotia cinnamon, and the orange curacao comes through. You got the rum, but it's not too, it's not like too much ethanol -y, you know, it's not, it's like it's there, but it's not like beating you over the head. Love it. There you go, my friends the winds of winter. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon uh, at patreon.com backslash the educated barfly. And I will see you next time on the next one. All right. Until then.